Well, hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, you like the content, don't forget to hit that like button. This is The Infected, an early access. Why is that plant so bright? Hmm, an early access uh, survival crafting game where you face things called Vambies. Not fond of the name myself. But, uh, yeah, vampire zombies, basically. And the last time around, we got as far, I believe, as putting a bit of a platform down. I've expanded on that a little bit. I put a fireplace down with a little shelter over it. If you build a fire and it rains, the rain will put the fire out. If you don't have a fire going and you want to light one and it's raining, well, that's really too bad. Because <laughs> it will not happen. Now... There's, um, oh, a piggy. No. Apparently I have two axes. Okay. Let's, uh, let's figure our stuff out. All I have for equipment so far is this guy, Stone Forge. So, oh, I've got some bark. We might as well put that in there. Uh, what have we got here? Food, just that. We are still early days. As you can see, I've got a uh, a way to get out to there. All right. So what we want to do today? I've got a stick holder, a couple of stick holders. I also would like to get. we go in here oops, and go down to placeables that's a stick stand we want a log stand and E to put it down and E to put it down okay now we also want placeables. A couple of stone crates. Okay. And on this side, we're going to do farm plots. So again, we're going to go here. We're going to go to our placeables. And we're going to go to these guys' plant beds. Ah. Let's, uh, let's spin them this way. See, you may notice this ghost fencing all the way around the... Uh, all the way around the place here. Well... There is a reason for that. Oh, really? Well, we'll move it just past that post then. Nice. Okay. So, of course, now we got to add all the materials to this stuff. Lots of sticks and logs and such. But yeah, the fence is because once you do go and visit one of these uh, enemy bases... Hang on a sec, that's really loud. Wow. Um, ambient. I'm going to hope that's that. I'll bring the master down a bit. Should be all right. Hopefully, a little better anyway. Once you visit one of the bases, and you need to do that basically to progress very far in the game at all. So, once you do, they will reciprocate. In other words, they'll start... Oh, that only requires sticks. You require sticks. You require logs. 
Oh, and iron ingots. Wow, okay. That's not great. And they will not only go after you, but the real issue is, is they will destroy your base. Now, as far as I know, they won't cross water. So the back of our house here should be fine. But, The rest of it's fair game, and they will actually tear your house apart. Oh, this axe is just about done. Okay, those have had that added. I think these are just straight logs. Try to keep her eyes open for uh, any edibles that we can come across. So, as some people that have been... Oh, okay, I'm apparently uh, not doing well here. So, what do we need? We're just low on energy. Yeah. Probably because all of our foods are down so far. Hmm... Let's see. No, we need one stone, eh? All right, let's take what we've got here. And we've got a bunch of sticks. Alrighty. Oh, we have one iron ore. And 30 bark, eh? Alright, but we've got no stone in there, and that's what I need. So, let's take these bark chips. Fire those in there. Fire one of these in here. Okay, we need a stone. So, let's grab this guy. and iron ore. Oh, we have a cucumber seeds. We'll take those. That'll get this little project started. Plant a seed. Boink. Alright. Now we do have to do something about watering those unless it rains again, which it actually does fairly often. Um, what does this have in it? Okay, it needs that stuff, so that's not good. Alright, we want to build ourselves a spear. 
So I'm going to need, oh, before we do that, we need to take one of these and do that. And then we can take this guy, this guy, and this guy. Oh, how many do you need? Two? Oh, I think it needs five plant fiber. Dang. All right. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't have a stick. Oh, actually, let's just do this here. Plant fiber. Not a, fa a fan of the doing that all the time. There we go. Now, let's go back into our crafting. And let's take this. This. Three. Four. Oops. Oh, why did it bring all of them? Three. Four. Five. Ah, don't. Dexter, enough. Good lord. Now it's supposed to just be alt to bring one. Ugh. What is the matter with this stupid thing? Oh, sure, that brings one. And then it brings the whole thing. Ugh. One. And then the whole thing. Why will it not... Just do it this way then. You're supposed to be able to bring things over one at a time. Thank you. Oh no, what? This is full? Oh, for. Oh, what? Now I don't have room for it? Unbelievable. Dexter, enough! Good lord. I had a cat. And there needs to be a way to shift things out of inventory. But, um... There are some, unfortunately, more important issues going on. Thank you. Okay, we need to grab ourselves a stick here really quickly. Um, why? Oh, I died? What the heck did I die of? What did I? Oh, really? And then you start me at some random spot. Um. Wow. Are you serious? So it could be any of these lakes. I 
I think it's that one. Unbelievable. Um, for instance, the come day five, it's going to turn to winter. And if you go out, you'll freeze to death. Of course, simple idea would be with all of the stuff that we're gathering and doing here, we would simply make ourselves some clothing. Unfortunately, no. Um... Until you find the tech in one of the Vambi outposts that allows you to build a loom, you can't build any sort of armor at all. I'm also not finding any sort of foods at all. That sucks. That really sucks. How are we doing here? Yeah, we're still heading towards it. So yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, the developer still needs to work out about this, you know. Um, you will not have time to build a base and get it fenced off from the Vambies before winter sets in if you don't have that tech. And of course, as soon as you go to one of their bases, you start the reprisals, right? So from that point on, and it's, it's not like, you know, they attack once a day or they only attack at night or it's pretty much a continuous, you know, you, you go out and you beat one that's been banging on your fence or your wall or whatever it reached and go back in, you know, craft yourself two arrows and you hear another one attacking your base. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much that quick. Pretty much that quick. Oh good, we did get our spear back. And feathers and meat. Awesome. Okay, as I said, I think... I keep hoping we'll run across some cucumbers or corn or something. But it doesn't look like it. Um, oh, well, no, this isn't where we were. Dang it. Well, I have no idea then where our uh, base is. There's nothing on the map to indicate where you died. Oh, we're not there yet at all. Wow, that's a long ways off. Holy cow. I'm going to end up dying of, uh, oh, there's a melon. Nice. And our flask has nothing in it. Beautiful. Well, let's hope we run across some more of that sort of thing on the way up there. Or we're not going to make it. And if that isn't our base, yeah, we're not going to make it anyway. <laughs> no, no. 
not a chance. Okay, it's a little more this way. Wow. Um, now, I built our base where we originally spawned. So, why they do this, I don't know. I mean, why would they respawn you in a completely different part of the map? I don't know. Another thing that really should be addressed. Um, there's a lot of... A lot of it is quality of life bits. You know, things like being able to shift-click things in and out of inventories. Um, a better system for splitting stacks and moving things. Uh, I'm not the first person that's noticed that the alt key doesn't always do what it's supposed to do um, sometimes it will shift one and then it'll shift another one and then it'll drag the whole stack and you have to start from scratch so yeah it's not a great thing direction here Ooh. should be right down there well at least we haven't been zapped by a bear yet or anything nasty foxes are hideous in this game by the way yeah you want to get yourself killed run across a fox a little bugger will chase you halfway across the map and then rip you in half when he gets to you well, I guess he basically eats you from the toes up. Where are we here? Oh, this doesn't feel like it might be the right place, but you never know. It might be, eh? Well, unfortunately, it's not either. Oh, man. Hmm. Well, I mean, I would just be guessing randomly now at where our base is. That's... Yeah, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Yeah, um... <laughs> I really don't know, guys. Toggle view? Oh. Oh. Well, I think it's this way.
Well, it's not very intuitive. I guess to the credit of the game, there is a way to sort of figure out where you might have been. But, yeah, that's... Again, I guess just a quality of life thing. That should be something that should be a little more intuitive because, well... Likely, you're gonna die. And strangely, well... I gotta admit, for the bit of content that I've watched, pretty much everybody has died at their base or in the yard of their base. Um, so I haven't actually seen anybody. Although, we were right beside our base as well. Yeah, I have no idea why it decided to spawn me a hundred miles away. I said, I don't remember walking 10 miles before I decided to settle. I settled where we originally spawned. So this still doesn't make much sense. Yeah, that's a long way. Wow. Plus, we're going to waste an entire day in travel, which means we'll only have two days left till winter. Huh. Well. We are absolutely not equipped for it, but... There's a van base here. Oh, we've got one spear, no bow. Um, yeah, we're not in any position to do this, are we? Okay, I should be... Oh. Okay. Oh, that's not what I want. Thank you. This, 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 craft. All right. So one and three. And all right. Great. she done to our health oh, not that it really matters oh wow are we ever down far I don't have anything like a bandage do I oh I do okay uh, character. Here we go. Okay. Oops. That doesn't. Alright. Well, that's one.
So each of these bases contains only one item. A small white square. That is your tech book. They contain nothing else. So if you happen to luck out and come into the right building right away, once you grab that piece, just grab it and run away. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Told you that wasn't it for them. So that's three. That's the uh, developer, Deject Studios. Oh, uh, really? Usually you will find it sitting on a table like this. Not this time. Dang. All right. These don't work. They're not actually doors. All right, well, let's try a different tent. That's too bad, because that's usually, uh, from what I've seen, it's these big tents where you find them. Oh. Come on, Zombo. Zambi. don't know that that's the same one I saw, though. Well, this is all one tent, isn't it? Um... So if there's only one building in here... Okay, we just missed it is the problem. There it is right there. Stove tech. Okay. So now, I believe it's here, yeah, stove tech. You take this and you simply pop it in there. Now you'll have some new things in your crafting menu. And that's basically the way that works. So there's one Vambi base down. Oh. Ah, oh, that's just a sheep, good stuff. So now, We basically want to go this way.
Of course, now the problem, like I said, is we don't have even close to a fully functional base. I don't even have a work table. But we are now going to start getting attacked. So, as we try and do things, like, for instance, make a work table, we're going to uh, find it gets progressively more and more difficult because every time we try to do something, we're going to have to go out and fight them away from our walls because we don't have a fence up so we won't have that buffer I would really like to see a little bit more food out here as well I know they want us to rely on growing a fair bit of it but with the base attacks being as frequent as they are that will just become one more thing that you're really not going to have a lot of time for it's a good thing it rains so much because it means you don't have to spend all your time watering the darn stuff so I mean that is a good thing that's been put in not all games realize that when it rains your crops should get watered at least this one does so that's a positive that is definitely a positive I thought that flower was another bird. I almost chucked a spear at it. Because I got a feeling that meat will be bad by the time we get home. Yeah, spoils in 10 minutes. <laughs> so. Mm. Here's another body of water. Not the one we built at again, unfortunately. So pigs you don't need to worry about, deer you don't need to worry about, sheep you don't need to worry about. Bears, foxes, wolves. Oh, lovely. Look at this. Nice. How are we doing here? Uh, yeah, we're still heading in the right. Oh, do not tell me I cannot climb this hill. That's not the information you want to be feeding me at this point, game, let me tell you. There you go. Bit of an effort, but fair enough. Yeah, I really don't need that right now. How are we doing here? Well, we do have to pass another Vambi base. Just to get stuck there in the dark. Yeah, we're not going to make it home before dark. Not a chance. And running just burns through everything. Your food, your thirst, your... Carbs, your fats, your energy, everything. Whoa! Well, that could have been some free meat, but again, it doesn't last. So it's almost pointless until we're home. There's the other Vambi camp. We've gone a long way, but we got a ways to go. Yeah. 
God, stuff goes down quickly. And so far on this entire journey, all we have found is two melons. Or watermelons, actually. Because there is also melons in the game. So yeah, we've found an entirety of, what, two watermelons. See, so yeah, I think they should add a couple of more foods. I mean, this looks like a fairly diverse landscape. I would expect there to be, you know, a few berries growing here and there, that sort of thing. You know, certainly more than I would expect to run across, you know, corn plants and some of the other items that are in here. As scarce as they may be. Um, here's the other good thing. We don't have anything like a torch. That unfortunately is not... Uh, and it will get pitch black. So I really don't know what we're going to do here in about five minutes. How are we doing for direction? We're not that far. Oh, come on. Sorry, it's getting so dark, guys. I hope you can all see. But yeah, this is just generally going to be bad news. Because like I said, now we have to put up with the fact that they will be attacking us pretty much all the time. I did not want to... Uh, go after a base until we were much better equipped I'm not sure what stove tech gets me possibly better food see the other problem is too is some of the tech is kind of linked you know like you need one piece of tech to make another one work you know so yeah it it, it needs the early game stuff the building and all of that is awesome I love it um, most of the crafting mechanics are just really cool. But, like I say, it's... Oh. Should be right down here. Ah, there it is. Look, I can see my ghost fence. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, we certainly travel the ways. We certainly did. Oh, look at this, eh? back up there. Awesome. Let's chow down one of these as well. Cool. Alright. That is nice to see. Oh. Let's 
we must add is seed. What do we want? Watermelon? Sure. Boink. Uh, water's fine for the moment. So now that we have feathers, I guess we can actually make arrows. Something else I wasn't able to do. Oh, I've got nothing to feed that. We've only got one chest suit. I mean, I'm nowhere near prepared for having to have these guys showing up every 10 minutes to mess with me. Nowhere near. Okay, can you not? Thank you. Get, like, way the heck over there. That's reasonable. Seeds, cool. All right. Get some meat cooked up. Go around back here and get some water. I guess that's all I guess. I don't know why it went from a 4 to a 3. Interesting. water going here for ourselves. One eighty. Oh, it won't take another, will it? clean water. There we are. We now have 60 clean water. Yeah, you can't build another one either, so <laughs> kind of sucks. But we are going to house the uh, lots of fuel, good stuff. I think I'll call it there, guys. It's been a pretty long episode. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm not sure how far we're actually going to go with this one. Like I say, it's a neat uh, neat game and all, but we're really quickly going to run into some really major issues. So we'll have to see how that goes. What is it you're waiting on, really? Everything, hey? Okay. Well, you just need wood and then the metals. I can go from there. All right, guys. Take care of each other. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Ciao for now.